In 2004, Carlos Spencer took the mickey out of the Crusaders. The Blues left Christchurch with a famous victory, and they've never won here since. Now the Blues come back in winning form, desperate to end a 14-game barren streak against the champions. Let's go, awesome. Let's go, Sammy. Go home. So the Crusaders put it in again. Cullen Grace looking set to take it off the back. Well, that one held from the Blues. So that's a good response from them, but they give it away to Havili. Now the ball of Jordan, and he's in. Well, Jordan, the magic man of Super Rugby Pacific at the moment. Stay no. Hold on. Blues just a little flat footed, but Jordan up. No, it's Bowden Barrett changes everything with a great break up the middle. Jordan trying to make the tackle. They stop him just short of the line. Here's a great chance. Finley Christie stretches out. Has he got there? He Come thinks on. so. He has. Well, they're looking for a knock on. Mike, award the try. Okay, try is good. Well, that's a great response from the Blues. Challenge again on Goodhue. Barrett getting up high. And Eklund comes away with it. Barnage. Yep. Never Finley Christie weight. pointing out Seven. the error of the Crusaders' ways. It was Christie. Referee agrees with him. Under advantage. They go to the short side. Better space here for Papali. Storm and run from the captain. He's going to score. Genius. Genius from Papali'i, but also Bowden Barrett. There's Barrett, you saw him come into frame. He gets it from Christie, two hands, little show, little go, and then offload to Papali'i, angle back between Moonga and I think Bryn Hall. Oh, that's a quality finish. And that one straightens nicely. It's over. The Blues have scored two tries to one, and they lead the Crusaders in Christchurch. Crusaders building, going through the phases. They've gone 12. And they've got the advantage to Enor steaming onto it close to the forwards. They go to the short side. Maunga try to dance through. Ball ripped away, and so they'll come back for the penalty, and this very kickable to start the second half. Handy to the posts. Up go the flags. It's 17 to 10. Oh, now dropping it out in midfield was Alex Hodgman. And, uh, well, Jordan might have a go here. Try to step his way through. Nothing on, though. Oh, Alex Hodgman has gone down, and you might just get a glimpse of him at the moment as Richie Moonga dances through. Moonga up to halfway, coming back at him, making the tackle as he, well, it was Papa Lee who got him in the end. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I think someone's in trouble here. Yeah. Shoulder. Let's go, boys. To the head. Ricard. And they go to the new man, James Tucker, racing in is Eklund. He's already got five tries. Seven from the back, seven. He'll treasure a sixth here tonight. They're trying to drive him towards the line. Now they start to move forward. Eklund has a go for the line. Can he get it down? Yes! Can Eklund the try? This is a massive moment in the game. Bodie Barrett takes over the kicking as his brother sits to get the match out and he nails the conversion. <laughs> Havili can't get past but gets the ball away nicely. Richie Moonga flicks it out the back door. Matira is there, floats one over the top. Sibu Reese heading for the corner and they're back in it. 
Yes, boy, they certainly are, the Crusaders. It's always going to take a bit of magic, and it happened from Richie Moonga. Steps from Drummond over the top of Harvey and Reese goes in. Now they go to Moana, sends it wide, here it is! No, no! Oh, what defence! What amazing defence from the Blues! Dalton Papali! Oh my goodness, where did he come from? Beautiful from Moana! Papali and Rico Yawane, two of them in tandem! Sensational stuff. In fact, I'll pin it on Rico Yawane Smithy. He was the man. Who is that? Clear. Blues put it into touch. And at long last, the drought is over. For the first time since Carlos Spencer weaved his magic on the game in 2004. The Blues have come to Christchurch and they have won.